It's small group night. You've prepared a Bible study and you've been getting the house ready. But once everyone finally arrives and you get down to business, what do you expect will happen? What do you hope you will achieve together over the next 90 minutes or so? No doubt different members of your group will come with different hopes and expectations. People have lots of expectations of small groups, but what about you as the leader of this group? What are your expectations and hopes for this small group of Christians that you're leading? Well, no doubt you want your group to be a place where rich fellowship takes place, where relationships are real, where the Bible study is always deep and relevant, where prayer is urgent and earnest, where people love and support each other, and where there is no silence in the discussion at any point that lasts longer than about three seconds. But of course, this is the real world and it doesn't always turn out that way. In fact, although many small groups are wonderful and achieve a great deal, there are even more small groups that just kind of bumble along with unclear goals and expectations and that don't make very much positive difference in their members' lives. How can we avoid leading a group that ends up like that? What should a small group be trying to achieve? What is your role as the leader? And how can you learn and grow in becoming a better leader? That's what this short training course is all about. I'm Tony Payne, this is Marty Sweeney, and we'll be your trainers in this five-part course on the basics of leading a small group. Now, you may be brand new to leading a small group, or you may have been leading for a while and be coming back for a refresher. But either way, over the next five sessions, we're gonna help you understand some important points. Firstly, what small groups really are and how they work. Then the four main aspects or facets of your role as the leader of a small group. And then some practicalities on how to get started and grow in each of these four aspects. In this first session, we're going to start with the most basic and foundational questions. The ones that we need to get straight in our heads or everything we do will be misguided. And that is this. What sort of thing is a small group? What is it really for? The different hopes and expectations people have for small groups usually spring from different answers to these basic questions. And the different visions people have for what the role of the leader is also spring from what they think small groups are really for. So we need to lay some solid foundations as to what small groups really are and what they're for. And to do that, we're going to the Bible to see what God has to say for his purposes, not just of small groups, but of everything 